what's up TTC uh, it's Josh back here man with another video tonight uh, been busy this weekend hope everybody had a good weekend uh, I just wanted to make this video uh, you know talking about Heath Miller um, you know retired from the Steelers Friday afternoon um, you know the Steelers when it comes to tight ends uh, we've we've had some couple decent ones like Cunningham and um, you know Cunningham, uh, Eric Green, and some of y'all might not even remember him in the early '90s. He was a good one. Mark Bruner was around for a while, but Heath Miller, without a shadow of a doubt, is uh, Randy Grossman. Even another good tight end that we had, but uh, Heath Miller by far is in my opinion the greatest tight end in stiller history um was always a huge fan of heath miller because he didn't talk uh you know he just came lined up and played football and was fantastic at what he did um you know before he got injured a few years ago you know heath miller was just he was a beast um, and he was still effective after his injury uh, but you know it was cool to see him retire stiller i don't think keith miller gets enough credit um he's part of two super bowl teams um he's one of only 12 players in nfl history with 6,000 receiving yards at the tight end position um he could block he could catch um you know the red zone when it comes to scoring touchdowns in the red zone early on in his career this guy was he was automatic yeah, I mean, you know, you knew you're getting six. Um, but Heath Miller definitely, in my opinion, the greatest tight end uh, to ever play for the Steelers. Um, and I think he was underappreciated while being on the Steelers. Uh, you know, it's the little things that he did, you know, making blocks, catching the ball in the backfield, scoring touchdowns. You know, those runs that we had to win our fifth Super Bowl had a lot to do with Heath Miller. Um, but, you know, Heath Miller was truly a professional. I mean, you want to say professional football player. There is a uh, – that defines Heath Miller. Uh, but I was glad that he retired to Pittsburgh. Uh, it was a shock to some, not to others. Um but I'm glad to see that he was able to walk away when he wanted to. You know, 11 years in Pittsburgh. Um, he's going to be a hard one to replace. We have Jesse James now. Uh, he had a couple touchdowns last year as a rookie. Really don't know what we have out of him. I don't know if Matt Space returned into Pittsburgh or not. But we got to look for uh, another tight end, you know, for the depth chart. I don't know if Jesse James is going to be the answer or not. I don't think he's played enough ball. For us to even know that yet but uh he had a year to learn under Heath Miller which was good um but we drafted this guy so let's give him a shot now you know what I'm saying let's see what he really has um you know early in preseason last year and early in the year he had a lot of fuck ups but uh he come around you know late in the season last year middle of the season towards late in the year uh he played good football so we'll just have to see um what we have there at the tight end position. But, uh, yeah, Heath Miller retires after 11 years. Um, I was sitting down the other day thinking, you know, how many of Coach Kyra's players are left and we're down to two? James Harrison and Ben Roethlisberger. Uh, not to that matters. I was just bullshitting with my buddy when we were talking about it. But, uh, yeah, man, Heath Miller definitely, uh, you know, the greatest tight end in Steelers history, in my opinion, one of the greatest Steelers of the newer era. Um, for us newer fans, um, it was always a light to have Heath on the team. And he was always a safety blanket for Ben Roethlisberger. You know, could that cause trouble? I don't know. We'll just have to see. Um, but, you know, Heath Miller definitely, definitely underrated. Um, but, you know, shout out to him, man. For all the work he put in for the black and gold, um, you know, just making plays, you know, wasn't never arrogant, never had a big ego, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He just came to play ball. If you wanted him to block, he blocked. You wanted him to go out and catch a ball, he'd catch a ball. You wanted him to go catch a touchdown, he'd catch a touchdown. He could take a hit, uh, and he defined 
what being a Pittsburgh Steeler uh, is all about, man. I just wanted to make this short uh, video. Shout out to Heath Miller. Shout out to Steeler Nation and all the Steeler fans. Um, shout out to, of course, Mike, man. Shout out to uh, Renegade412, Bruin Steel. Uh, all the Steeler fans anywhere, everywhere. Shout out to you. Uh, but this video was just about Heath. Uh, you know, retiring a Steeler. I thought it was cool. Uh, he wasn't forced into retirement. A lot of people think Palomalu was forced into retirement, but Heath Miller let it be known, you know, that uh, he wasn't forced into retirement, what the rumors may be. Uh, shout out to Jason Witten also uh, from the Cowboys, giving Heath Miller a lot of love. Uh, seen that, was it last night or this morning? I don't remember. Shout out to him as well, man. But we'll just have to see where we go from here, guys. Uh, peace.